Hello my friends, I'm here with my friend Fernando, as you can see him, okay, he's a very nice and beautiful and handsome guy, okay, and uh, let's get to work. I have to put this, as you can see, because Because this concrete start falling, as you can see, and I will attach him to this guy over here, cut this hole, put this here, Tabelo Fernando. Now, this is not a very difficult job, but it's time consuming, so let's get to work, you know. Yesterday was Monday and I didn't put no video because my son was was having a, a small flu, was a little sick, you know, and I was not in the mood of putting no videos, I was not making any videos all week because I have made the same thing every day so was not very interesting so I don't want you to bore you because if I don't have something interesting if I don't have something that you could enjoy I will not make any video just to make it you know my friends so I was in the mad, bad mood because of my son and uh, today I want to talk about this you know this is a very delicate subject because as you all know my son is an autistic guy but it's not a delicate subject for me because I am used to this you know now can be delicate subject for you my friends okay every time then that i will make a hole i will not speak so I start making holes This guy, my son, I, I, you know, because of my ignorance, I see my son as normal and I see the other kids like retards, you know, I know. I apologize for you guys who have normal kids, but this is my ignorance talking, you know, because I don't have two sons like like one normal and one autistic I have only one so in his condition I am very used to his condition and I see him normal you know so normal stuff that kids do like going to the candy store and crying that they want some candy and uh, their father don't buy them candy this looks to me like like a, a a stupid thing you know because my son doesn't eat candies so because I don't have a son that asks for candy when I see one of the kids ask for candy and crying because his father don't buy him candy you know I find that stupid, you know, and I think that this kid is stupid, you know. I don't think it's fair, but just my ignorance, you know. Now, let me explain to you what autistic means. Because some of you maybe know what means, but let me explain to you from my perspective. You know, which is the 
the really perspective you know because if you don't have contact or if you don't have in a family autistic relative or something like this you all know about this condition by reading books or internet or something like this and I'm not saying that this is not true I'm only saying that you will not see this from reality side you know now let's see uh, okay I'll go in my right now my son doesn't speak naturally not naturally naturally for me not naturally for you who have uh, normal kids but for me doesn't speak so I'm used to this now because he doesn't speak I have to read his mind you know this is very easy for me it's not a problem you know because I know what he wants I know what he thinks I know when he needs something so this is very easy but in this case it's a little bit difficult because he don't ask for food like like a normal kid you know you have to know when he is hungry you have to know when he wants to drink some water you have to know because he will not ask okay he will not speak you cannot teach him anything because he will not let you you know he doesn't understand the words the concept of words okay he understood some like understand some like like yes no uh, this is forbidden or uh, okay you can do this or don't do this or stuff like this easy stuff but he will not understand like complicated stuff you know okay now this is no big deal for me this is very easy because I am with him from about nine years and a half this is an advantage and a disadvantage okay the advantage is that is very healthy because he's not eating candies he's not drinking no juice he's drinking only water and tea he eats only food he don't you know so he's very strong and healthy now this advantage on this side is that I cannot buy him candies you know when I go home normally as a father I want to bring something to my child you know like I am happy you know to bring him something like some candy something like this but as my son doesn't eat stuff like this I cannot bring him anything you know so normally I work for nothing you know now he likes very much playing games on the tablet but not like a normal child he doesn't play games on the tablet no he play games on the tablet while running you know what i mean this is sometimes crazy stuff but what can i do you know he runs he jumps he do stuff like this while playing games now the problem is that the artistic part in his brain is missing so he will not play games like like painting like you know something that that requires uh, artistic part like 
let's make something beautiful let's make this no he will play games logically only logic games like for example he has a game that it calls best game what do you want this is the name of the game you know called best game you can search it for this camera You can search this game on internet, it's very easy, best game with a ball that you have to throw the ball and to enter into some glass and stuff like this, like, you know, you have to calculate, it's a lot of physics, a lot of stuff like this. Now, normally, a normal child will play this game, okay, the guys that, that made this, this game, they make it like... For a normal kid now my son is not normal kid you know because um, this game has like 16 levels or something like this you know it's a long game it's a very difficult game and uh, my son just finish it not now no he finished it like three or four times why and this is very difficult because i cannot pass on level 40 46 or something like this but my son finished it like four or five times why because of his condition you know he not plays game like a normal kid you know because every time you pass a level in this game they will give you a gold star you have five tries okay so now if you pass the level in two tries they will give you three gold star you know and this is the best now if you pass it like in five moves the game will give you one star one golden star or two golden stars you know so now naturally my son play this game until until he finishes the game with all levels on three stars you know and this is like stupid thing this is this is very difficult because I'm not capable of doing this you know and my son it is now why this happened well, because he needs to make all the things perfect, you know, he needs to make, to make them. Now, all the things that he do has to include logic, because if they are not logic things or, uh, you know, the, he, he will not make it. So, now, imagine... Imagine him playing some games, you know, he will play these games until perfection. He will not play like three or four levels, like, you know, no. He will repeat this game until he finishes. Now, after he finishes, he will don't have nothing to play. So, me, as you know, I'm an asshole, I delete all the history on the tablet. So, he will play again. Now... This is not good, not bad part of being autistic, you know? But there are some bad parts, like... They will not express themselves. My son does not express himself very well. You know, with feelings. Like, if I came home tired, I need the hug, I need something. I am a sensitive guy, you know? No, he will not give me anything. He will not... 
give me no feelings and I think this is from my wife because my wife give me nothing also when I came home like a kiss like something like I miss you like you know no nothing so this is the bad part But let's come back to my subject now. He has a little flu, like very small one, you know. And when he's sick, you cannot tell that he's sick. You only will know this because he is all day running. So when he's sick, will not run anymore. He will stay still now. Yes. Now I see that something's wrong with him, you know. Now, when he stays still, child that that runs like I don't know, 12 hours a day or 15 hours a day, when he stays still, this is alarming, you know. So my wife directly knows that something's happened to him. Cambialo. Por arriba, no? So, a problem is that if he hurts, if he's hurting or something, if he not feel good, he will not tell you. You know, you have to guess. Something is wrong with him. What? Because he will not tell you if something it's hurting him you know now this is the bad part the good part is that as he runs all day he will not fall never because he jump all day and he becomes like very good on jumping you know of climbing of climbing on furniture or stuff like this that he will not fall, you know. So my son, in his nine years, nine and a half years, have two accidents, you know. Now, these two accidents, one was for my fault and one was for my wife's fault. Not from, for his fault. Because he don't fall. He don't injure himself. No, we injure him himself. You know, we injuring him, but he's not injuring himself. So, this is a good part, you know. Now, he don't ask for toys, you know. Two years ago, he asked for, he cried that, that his favorite store of toys that because he like he loved to enter in this store and look at the toys but he didn't ask any of the toys but he look at them you know then I have to guess what toy does he enjoy and, and buy this toy for him and he reaches home with the toy and he didn't like it so I have to throw the toy because he was angry and stuff like this so two years ago the store that he loved has closed now when he saw that this store is closed he started crying which normally it's a bad thing but for me and my wife was the best Thing on our lives the best my son asked him for something and he didn't get it and he started crying this was like like a fucking miracle you know now this is a good thing and this is a bad thing the good thing is that he's not expensive you know the bad thing is he's not expensive
because I will love to buy him some toys, but I cannot because he doesn't like them. So, imagine the stupidity on this part. Now, let's see. If I'm used to my son always running, only jumping, and now he has a flu, he has fever, he has temperature. Now, he doesn't say that it hurts. He doesn't say anything, but he's not moving, you know. Now, for a kid who always jump, always run, always do something, but now it's staying still, this for a father or for a mother, this is like, like heartbreaking. So imagine. Imagine me, I was a little bit upset. Now, normally a flu, my son has one or two small flu on a year, on one year, you know? But that means he's sick like maximum two or three days, you know? Not like flu, like you normally used to, no, something easy because he's strong, he has strong anti, how you call this, antibodies or something like this, you know, he's very strong, but you have to take care of him. Now, he hates doctors, you know, I wasn't go with my son, like, very often to the doctor, But we go to some doctors because of his condition to see what the problem is, why he doesn't talk, why he doesn't speak, why doesn't, you know. Now, when I go to a doctor, my son will be like crazy. He doesn't like waiting, he doesn't like quiet, he doesn't like anything like this. Don't mind, don't get me wrong, he's not a monster. Is that a little bit difficult that a normal child? Normal child probably don't like also to go to the doctor. So my son, it's more than that. Now, another thing, uh, as you all know, as I was saying before, I cannot teach him anything, you know, like anything because he's not listening to me. So now, normally, how does he know stuff? Well, he tasted them, you know, tasted, testing them. Now, to play a game, he will have to make tests on the game. That, and he will find that, wait, uh, he will find out all alone how the game works. Now, last week I find that my son know how to how to read. What? Yes, yes. You heard good. My son knows how to read. Now, you will might say that how can this how can this be? Cambial. Because he doesn't speak. Yeah. Well, this is true. But. He doesn't speak, but he writes. What has happened, Fernando? Well, let me explain to you how this works. Uh, uh, this fucking... <clears throat> he was listen to a song okay a spanish song that talks about a guy who makes shoes who is very good on making shoes and becomes old and uh, become comes a turtle and this turtle want to make her some shoes and this guy don't know how to make them and then the turtle said that 
look you have to sing while making the shoes and stuff like this okay now this is not very interesting now normally this song it's a small child song okay now he's searching on youtube yeah he can write also i didn't teach him that the teachers from the school didn't teach him that he just watch you when you type and he will remember every thing that you made and he will make he will make the same now he learned how to write okay now he searched it on youtube and on all the sites about this story about this shoemaker how he makes shoes how he made like this and he find out to find out the original story about this guy who makes shoes okay now like writing story you know so he calls to his mother not calling like he grab her and he he put the finger on the word you know and he mother his mother start writing you know now when she fucked up a name a word he will he will put her to say again the word so he knows when his mother doesn't say the word good like el zapatero estaban uh, get it so normally he knows the words he knows how the words look like you know he cannot say them normally this is not a big deal okay but the problem is with my theory is that this story has some like three or four pages you know and you cannot uh, photographically remember three or four pages if you don't know how to read or how to write you know this is like like i don't know this is like stupid you know you cannot memorize three pages of something that you don't know the language you know imagine you you read something in chinese okay but you don't know chinese so how do you know if this word is not good now what i think he is doing is like listen to the song put the words on the song on the on the story on the words on the story and then memorizing the words on the writing story i don't know how to explain this and i don't know how to explain it to myself but you know so this thing i like this thing and i dislike it you know i like it because i think that my son is very very smart like incredible smart okay i dislike it because normally i was supposed to to teach him how to read and write normally you know what i mean now i am his father i am supposed to do this and i did it he did it by himself okay okay this is not very bad you know now Roger. Now, 
is you also the movies when some father go and play baseball with his son or football or something like this believe me guys i have tried he's not kicking the ball like no he is not kicking the ball you know so i have tried to play with him every game that i could find he was not he's not playing with me now i figured out okay because i'm very stupid i will play i know a perfect game to play with my son okay let's kick each other with the legs you know because he has great reflexes you know he will like and in time he will learn to defend himself because he is special all the kids will laugh at him in time and and he will learn to defend himself but you know how that was my thinking now now i find out one week ago that he kicked a teacher in the school i was like devastated i was like i'm so stupid i thought that he can make a difference between me and some teacher you know but he didn't he didn't make any difference so he kicked the teacher he not kicked the teacher like to hurt him this is the stupid part you know he kicked him like he wanted to play with the teacher how he's playing with me at home because he enjoyed this game but the teacher called his mother to school now my wife go to school the teacher said look your son is very violent and my wife was like what the fuck did this guy do kick me with his feet now normally my wife start laughing you know why because my wife is not smart also you know and for all accomplishment that my son make we are very proud so when i teach my son to hit with the legs i was very proud of him now i find out that he is very good of kicking with legs now that was two weeks ago i struggle two weeks to not playing with him our favorite game imagine the stupidity in my head you know i have a perfect game to play with my son and now i cannot play it if you know what i mean now i am on my computer he is on his tablet and we are not playing any game now some of you guys will come with a great idea you know why don't you play with him with legos you know they are logically they are no i tried i buy some 100 legos you know i have to make it by myself he look at them he thinks in his head you dad you are so stupid and he doesn't like it so legos doesn't like so i have no game to play with my son you know what i mean my friends no game now i'm stuck with nothing until he will grow up and i can explain to him that it's allowed only to kick his father i don't have any game to play with my son stupid now my friends this is this is it okay i hope i can 
put the videos every Monday as promised, you know. But this video, I think I will put it today to compensate because my friend Luke was posting a comment like, dude, what happened to you? Why did you not put a video Monday? So I feel sorry for this guy because I promise, you know, like every time when I finish a video, I will say, I will put a video every Monday. And this Monday, I didn't put any video. Now, Where's? Gracias. Now, as you can see, I'm working here, you know, like every day. And my son is okay now. It's good. And everything is good. It's very hot outside. Now as you can see I'm all sweat because this is this is not a very difficult job, you know, but it takes me a lot of energy to make this. I have like 10 meters or more and I finish and then I have to, to fix some holes and I finish and then I have to do a lot of shit. Okay guys. So I hope every Monday, don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, share, it's very important, you know, and be safe and be well. See you on the next Monday. Look at this guy, Fernando, look at him. This is a very strong guy, Fernando, and beautiful, you know, this guy with, with faggot ropes and stuff like this. Look.